questions. I will I approve. do my best to answer them. But aside from that, yes, yes, you are. That's so not cool. It's so not cool. No, it has been unseasonably warm. If you don't mind, I will return to my studies now. Thank you for listening to an old man and his long story. You'd sell him, man. No, thank you. It's starting to make a little bit of sense now. No. Oh. That is good news. Come see me again if you have any more questions. Don't do it. She's gonna do it. Don't do Ask it. Ask him 20 questions. <laughs> Ask him 20 questions. Who am I thinking of? Uh, Robert De Niro. Uh, does she have a turkey back there? Oh my gosh, she is. Excuse me. God damn it, what is she? Exactly as I said. <sighs> Twenty Fuck. questions. Do you know a man named Brian hey, Lou. Westhouse? Westhouse? That old goat? Yes, unfortunately. What would you with him? I need to find him. I do not know where he lives. I hear somewhere on the outskirts of the city by the sea, but I cannot tell you any more than that. Who'd know about West House? Like, we have no idea what that guy's about. about. Just that Car Cortez was all like, find him, right? Him. Yeah. He's rude, uncultured, and ignorant. Cortez told me to look him up. Well, I do not know where he lives or frequents, but someone at the market may. He trades merchandise there, and I think he collects maps of the Northlands. He trades magic, the gathering cards. Who did you say I should see about West? probably buy a booster. The map merchant at the market may know. My booster's right here. There is one thing I must tell you, however. Few would know West House by his real name. In the city, he is known as the Rolling Man because of his strange touring <gasps> vehicle. The most dreadful and dangerous contraption he has if I ever a saw. Motorcycle? A motorcycle? Or just a bicycle? Uh, Perhaps. It's technology. It That's of true. Age. They're afraid of technology. Much like the West House himself. Mm. And I don't think he would be able to power a fucking motorcycle anyway. What do you know about Cortez? Let them fossil fools. Your mentor? What has he told you about himself? Not much. Because everyone here in the magic land just floats around in magical balls. Yep. Just like the avatar. To learn something about someone, the best <laughs> they way all got is to ask them yourself. There is nothing I can do to enlighten you. But who is he? He is who he is. What he is. If he has not told you himself, then perhaps he does not wish you to know. Yeah. It would be improper for me to divulge his secret. Exactly. Respect the man's privacy. As bad as he <clears throat> is. No it's just frustrating. I understand. The next time you see him, tell him what you have told me. Maybe he will tell you the truth, maybe he will not. It is his choice to make. I'll see you later. Thank you. You will. <laughs> if you say so, then it must be true. Ah, <sighs> good. Now get the fuck out of there. Good. They'll have a two-hour conversation later. <laughs> then she goes right back in. She just goes this little, like, enclave, comes back. I couldn't find him! <laughs> he wasn't right in front of me. I don't understand. Oh, shit! There's a the dancer! Oh, I see her. Yeah. Throw tips. Maps! I got maps! Do a little jig. Drawn in quality ink by skilled sun. I'm just waiting until Crow shows up. All the Northlands. I'm looking for Brian Westhouse. Briar West of House? It's not on any of my maps, and I've never heard of it. Maps. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man, not a <laughs> place, Mr. Brian Westhouse. <laughs> I would most certainly remember. Pretty sure if I was a merchant, I'd be the same way. Get your maps while they're fresh. This guy's throat must have hurt while trying to do this voice. Can you tell me where the rolling man lives? It's maybe, actually a female voice actor. Not. Why? Ugh. Cause I need to find it. 
Sorry, Turns out it's Ricky P who did the voice of this. This is my before <laughs> he, he didn't drop his balls. He wasn't even a sperm then. I know, I back really then know his voice was super is. deep and gravelly. Sorry, oh. can't do. In a disembodied Ready, voice. No, 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 young lady, don't give me that doe-eyed look, don't. Ah, blasted be the balance, you're giving me that doe-eyed <laughs> look, aren't you? I still can't tell you, though, I got maps. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Please tell me where the rolling man lives. No, can't do, miss. Uh, I can't divulge personal information about my customers. She'll give you a handy. This You're person. late again, oh. and you know what else? You're fired. Give me back the delivery list and get your sorry blue skin elsewhere. You guys are prick. I don't like him anymore. Yeah, he me. Hired hell. Bah, never hire a Dolmari to do a human job. He's also racist. He is How much very racist. Maps? Uh, that depends, Miss. I got ah, what the hell is this? Here of the border mountains for only six. It's gone. Fresh from the quill of a sunrider. Maps, get your maps here. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, there was a graphic of that on my hand. It was like rainbow. Oh. You saw maps of the city? Can't help you there, Miss. The Guild of Tourism has monopoly on city maps. I can tell you're not from around here, or you know that. Got tons of maps of all the Northlands, though. He the really wants to sell maps. To of fire. maps. <laughs> He's got Tourette's. <laughs> Where can I find a guild of hey, people? maps. They don't love him They're like he does. God damn it. <laughs> yes. What are you gonna do now? Yeah. Without a delivery? Yeah, yeah. God fucking damn it. <laughs> new one, of course. Uh, blasted be the balance. That means I'll have to pay the damn fee to the Guild of Merchants. Damnation. Maybe I could help you out. You? How? I'm quick, honest, and reliable. And I've got a lot of experience. This is probably a side quest. I think so. Hmm, She's perhaps. gotta go get so ten boar skins. For maps. If the Guild of Merchants don't find out, get me four hooves. Nothing drops know. hooves. Mind the pay is not much. Only a single errand per delivery, plus whatever tip the customer may see fit to give you. I'll take the job, if you want. Agreed. Maybe you'll even bring in some new business. Here's the delivery list for today and your first map. It's for the captain of the White Dragon. Nebebe, I think his name is. You'll find him in the harbor. All right. Sorry, cool. I didn't I didn't catch that. Nebebe. 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 They made up that name because some guy just sneezed randomly. He's like, Damn it. Oh, Christ. All right, good. We got uh, we got our map. It's good. But it's not our map. It belongs to Captain of the... <laughs> the map it's the Captain the of the White Dragon. Oh, yeah. That shot. The town spaders are better. Well, blue fire. Amnesia to rip off. Or is it a Mario 64 blue off? Ah, oh, God, I don't know anymore. I think it's a real life rebuff. It's a real life rebuff. Okay. Those are some well, nice boats. This is opposite world, so red flames are blue here. Oh, oh. I see. What's the invert of flame? Is Ice. it? Blue? I see. Go fucking paint program that shit. Red ice and blue fire, just like Zelda. Is that Brian? Hi there, matey. Pardon. That's not Brian. Isn't that how you sailors greet each other? No. <laughs> well, what do you say then? Usually, hello. And if it's sunny, nice day for it. We might even try a how are you today then, if we're feeling adventurous. I like him. Yeah, me too. But never, ever. Ahoy. 
This is valuable information. It is. I matey, that it be. <laughs> <laughs> is this the white dragon? That's what the big white letters on the prow spell out. What do you think? I'm looking for the captain. Is he around? What would you with the captain of the white dragon? I have a delivery for him, a map from the map merchant at the temple market. Aye. I be Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon, fastest vessel there ever was. Nebeve. Hand the map Nebeve. over, girl. With Jaws blessing the wind. And will Horatio, return that's soon a good and name. I can leave this accursed harbor for sunnier shores. The guy who voices him sounds like he'd be a pretty cool dad figure. Yeah, or uncle. Yeah. 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 And thank you. There's an errand for your trouble. Thanks, Dad. And that. <laughs> Sign this, please. What is it? I need your signature to confirm that you've received the map. Map? What map? <laughs> the one I just gave you. Oh, that one. Sorry, I never put my signature on a piece of paper. Okay. Why not? Brings bad luck to give a piece of yourself in that manner. I am, a I signature am, has I'm untold already. powers. It's part of your soul. I can't sign away my no, soul. Don't sign it as you. Just make scribbles. Yeah, just be like, I got it. You that signing a sign it with an X. Is bad for your soul. I'm from Guyenne, and we're a spiritual people. Our souls are in balance with our bodies, and the great Mojal has taught us not to endanger this balance. Signing my name, giving a piece of myself in that manner, breeds corruption and imbalance within. And it pisses the Mojal off no end. I feel like I've pissed the Mojal off to no end. Difficult? I feel like I did that just two days Blame ago. Blame organized religion. Blame organized religion, yeah, everybody. Right. I'm on it. That's what this is all about. You can't write. Uh, so <laughs> what? So what if I can't write? So what if I was born at sea and never spent more than a month ashore ever since? I still won't sign your accursed paper by Jal. Look, all you have to do is sign an X next to your name on the list. You can't trick the great Mojal. The Mojal's untrickable. That's not trickery. It's legally binding. I said no. Is there anything I can do to get you to sign? Handjob. Side quest. No. And we're handjob. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but no. Yes. But oh, no. Captain, I'm mm. desperate here. I really, really need some kind of signature. How badly? Well, <laughs> there's always music. Music? Just like in Dreamfall. What's music got to do with you signing my list? Nothing. But it What's love got to do with it? Are these what people are like dressed way about? too like modern? Why would you need to distract the, the this is the land of Mojo. magic. Man. Yeah, why is it wearing like khakis and like a coat? When there's a Actually, they're pretty fashionable. If you watch the uh, Dreamfall, uh, Zoe had like a nice coat with a turtleneck. Really? And it looked like not half bad, yeah. Always distracted. I mean, there's always music somewhere in the world. That's true. The Mojo yeah, it's like Arcadia has been around as long as Stark has, acolyte. so they're just as advanced, but they're and advanced in the magic path, instead of and and that Stark has not been alone <laughs> for very long. Granted, You're right. It didn't even last two seasons. But True. seriously, all the other Starks that were okay. Into alternative religions? <laughs> Blasphemy. I'm gonna. I'll, Besides, I'll be right back. I only have to visit the temple once every two years, and the membership fees are quite reasonable. So. If I play some music, you'll sign? Aye. I'll give you that much. She starts doing armpit music. I'll be back. Apparently I that's a skill. A second. Oh. Jun totally ended the call, so now it's just us. By us, I mean you guys and me. 
I'm gonna call them now. Hi. Oh, my bad. Sorry. You right, fucking bad. idiot. Why you do this? Uh, I never yeah. stopped. Me either. Okay. So the quest for music. Yep. I, I made a joke about armpit farts and you guys weren't there to fucking go along with it. <laughs> yeah, man, it's so funny. I made a joke about her breaking out a recorder and going to town. Oh, shit. Dude, that's hilarious. Any, any G style. And then I went and I did a, a solo, and no one heard it. Oh, it's alright. What the hell kind of sound was that? What's your um, rabbit carcass sound? Most affordable instrument. <laughs> Shit. That's cute. The flute, right? And how much for the flute? I'm guessing that's one errand. What's oh, one errand? Yeah. Shit, only one errand for a flute? That's a pretty good deal. Give it up! Yeah! I have the flute. What was if an errand's like a $20 it? bill? Shit, if you get $20 for one delivery though, that's pretty good. It's very good. We may never know. <laughs> that's true. We gotta go uh, ask the developers what There's one flute the costs. I actually know how to play a flute. Not very well, but I'm sure the... Uh, All I think of when I hear Aaron is Lady Aaron. My currency is a female. One. <sighs> Aaron is the main character of Attack on Titan. Ah, uh, what is that? It's anime weebu. Ah, uh, weebu. I am too. Mm, we're fucking losers. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm a weebu. How about you? You know it, Otaku. <laughs> yeah, boo. We uh, boo. <laughs> What is he doing? What is he doing? He's about to start having a jig. I'm ready to play some music if Wait, you're what? ready to sign. Hi, go on, but don't stop until I'm done signing, or the Mojal will surely wreak vengeance on us both. I hope she doesn't play anything now. Oh, you play that. I think oh. he did the robot. He, he's having a stroke right now. How do I sign? <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done. Here you go. And don't ever ask me to sign anything ever again. He just said ever again. We're on I the same part. I can pretty much guarantee right. you that. I am a little bit uh, ahead. How and the I fuck am, are you guys ahead? I'm because whenever, ahead. whenever uh, Scott fucking broke the Skype call, uh, apparently in order to join the call again, my player that I chose to play this was all like, oh, you're not paying attention. Let me stop this for you. Shit. So I'm just catching up. It's cool. So I'm, uh, I'm at I'm at two thirty six two thirty seven. And the dot. Alright, I think I'm about fifteen seconds ahead, so there you go. Jesus. Two Stop. seconds behind. It's at two thirty seven thirteen now. Okay, we should be almost perfect. Better be. Blame Jund. I do too. Deck. Holy. We still have that thumbtack and candy. Let's gonna... put it under his chair. Yeah. Make him it's sit used on it. in the very last puzzle of the game. Right. Next assignment is a map yes. of Shangadriel to the Rolling Man. Hold on. Did you not ask me about him earlier today? Uh, Say no. No. But... No. That wasn't me. That was somebody else. I could have sworn. Well, no matter. Uh, do you know how to get to the Rolling Man's house? I forget. Uh, let me explain then. Now pay attention because this is complicated. He has chosen to live in the most inaccessible place in the city, but I guess he has his reasons. First you head west off the marketplace on Oak until you get to a tiny little apothecary, Mrs. Cassop's Herbs and Oils where you turn north on South Street, confusing that, for about four minutes of brisk walking. That's when you see a, a large <laughs> grove of trees. It's a memorial to those who died in the last war with the tyrant back in the balance knows when. Can't see why they choose to remind us of that, where you'll turn left. 
That's West. His anecdotes don't make no the instructions way. any clearer. That'll take you back south, but I don't like North it. Street instead, and that keeps you out of the Dalmari neighborhood. Down that way, nasty, nasty neighborhood. That makes no sense. Oh, if we're heading north, south, then you take a left. It's west. Or west. What? North. Wait, wait. North on South Street, south on North Street, or, or the other way around. Anyway, find the Rose Bridge off uh, I Reed Avenue and cross it. There's a river. No, just a bridge. The river disappeared 500 years ago. No one knows what happened to it. <laughs> After you've crossed the bridge, you'll be on the western slopes of Mercuria. Mercuria, that's, that's where, where we're at right now. Uh, I mean, the Rolling Man lives. No, far from it, but you need to pass through <laughs> that part of Mercuria to get to the Rolling Man. Keep south and well, I'm getting a snack. the livestock. <laughs> They're ready to attack in that part of town. Eventually, you'll get to a large circular square. That's where they used to hold executions back. A circular square. <laughs> yes. You call murder civilized? A square being the function, a circle being the shape. Up for years, oh, fair enough. level headed mm -hmm. person would tell you our freedom cannot be curtailed. Real men choose the honor of death to the shame of incarceration. I get the feeling they want you to yeah, get lost. Sure you I do. think so. <laughs> circle around the square. I'm sure people wrote all this down. Tendak. But how would you even know it's coming? Should that be? Uh, uh, yes, save Lane. states. Head west on Parrick Lane for a uh, half a mile. That's right. This is a Super Nintendo right game. The Maiden's Honor <laughs> yes. Tavern. North again? Uh, no, west. Uh, Parrick Lane has a few twists and turns. Anyway, you should now be able to see the Ivory Tower. <laughs> is it a big tower? I hope this is our no, one like about five mission tall, in this whole game is to navigate these directions. The the is it Ivory Tower the place the in Dreamfall that's that big tower? Kandar. Yeah. Well, that's what it's called. Big creature, but four legs, large ears, long this snap, one's sort of grayish color. Yeah, so this is before it was actually yes, made into the huge tower. Of the Southlands. Yeah. Many that's cool. a brave hunter has fallen victim to its ravaging hunger. By the way, the ivory tower in Greenfall was made from alabaster. Pass by the tower to the edge of the cliff and look down. The rolling man has built his home on the cliffside. It's a wonder he's not been washed away by the storms. Oh, I just click there. hope I got all that. Basically, go west until I hit the edge, right? Uh, yes, that would be correct. <laughs> Jokes. All that shit for that. Yep. <laughs> it's so funny. Mm. Well, you wouldn't play this game knowing what you like the reviews and stuff if you didn't like stories. This is definitely 100% story game. Mm -hmm. Hey, Brian. Hey. Hi. What's up, I'm Brian. We should talk with the man. Hello, Mr. Westhouse? Damn, Mason, what is it now? Oh, well, <clears throat> guess you're not, uh, you're not calling on behalf of that... You don't seem like Brian Westhouse, sir. For him. Sorry, I, I don't guess know. he's a bit no, grumpy. No, no. Brian Westhouse Sorry, is a gentleman. He is. He's not cursed at ladies. doesn't much enjoy the company of women. Well, who in damnation are you? April Ryan, sir. Ryan? Doesn't sound very Northlandian. Are you by any chance from the coast of... You hold on. Ryan? April Ryan? <laughs> I'll be damned. You're from Stark. Apparently. Until today, I thought I was just Not from Earth. Not like that, sir. No mm -hmm. idea. There were two of them. <laughs> Is this the wrong Takes West House? Surprise, doesn't it? Oh, well, I think so. God damn, so Brian Westhouse in Greenfall was, drink. yeah, he was very dapper and, like, gentlemanly. He was such a hunk. He's a little bit of a hunk. He's getting sure a drink now. He's uh, improving. I, 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 no, Brian, don't drink. Oh, he drinks. The liquor over here stinks to high heaven. The magic pollutes the purity of the spirit, but I keep a bottle of Glen Fittage for special occasions. Thanks for the offer, sir. The fucking plastic. I didn't come here to have a drink. <laughs> really? I see. This isn't a social call. No, sorry. Oh, no matter. It's still a pleasant surprise to meet someone from home. 
Now, <clears throat> what may I do for you? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I have a delivery <laughs> for you. Bang. Yeah. A delivery? When did the U.S. Postal Service start delivering mail to Arcadia? It's from the map merchant at the market. It's just a map. Oh, good. I've been waiting for you. Welcome Hold back, Zoots. Horses. What are you oh, doing? Oh, thank you. No, you're here because you're freaking fuzz. Are you playing? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Arcadia? I'm sorry. It's all good. I'd would rather have you it, than... Ryan. Arcadia may look and like place. a pastoral fairy tale, game, but it's not. Yeah. You bleed as easily here as you do in Stark, and magic can do more damage than a gun. I'm it not can? planning on staying, but yeah. I'm to find you. What? The map was the only Instead of it shooting your organs, it just removes me. your organs. No. So I got him to hire me, and you were the second delivery on my list. Then so someone like in our the Leprechaun movie God. where he like puts a gold pot Karakin in the guy's belly. Loyalty. Oh no, it's because he ate the coin because he thought it was chocolate, and he's like, I need I me gold coin. Oh, so many gold coins came out. There's not <laughs> much else to do in this God. I want to see that movie again. <laughs> Let's watch it next time you come over. Okay. We can watch a leprechaun in the hood. <laughs> no, not that one, please. But he gets high, and he says, "A friend with weed is a friend indeed." I think not. And then he does a little drink. Remember, did you say Cortez? You wouldn't be talking about old Manny Chavez, would you? Well, he ought to be mm, dead. That's a better name than Cortez, right. in my opinion. Mm, Manny Chavez. So mm, Manny Chavez. I don't know his first name, but he calls himself Cortez. You know, John doesn't oh, watch this to play Dota too. And elusive, rarely answers uh, a question he doesn't appreciate the yes longest no. journey. Smokes See? like a chimney. A dick. Aside from that bit about smoking like a chimney, it sounds exactly like Cortez. Manny. I'll be dead. That old crook is still around. Well, how the devil is he? He's good. Where do you know him from? Oh, my old life back in Oh, the I know what he's talking about. We had some exciting right. adventures, him and I. Part Actually, at the end of the credits of Dream Ball. Reason I ended up here. I last saw him what? in the winter Winter 1934. No you way. Remember? But that's almost yeah, 300 was the last time years talk ago. Guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? So wait, it was Dreamfall sure a prequel? Look a day older no, than he did back then. But the, uh, after the credits, so there was a scene that had well, him and, and Cortez in the snow. We're slowly world, over the span of games years. learning about Brian oh, Westhouse. No, he has something to do with the entire plot. <sighs> I'm over 46. I arrived here about 15. So we get like a ago, little mysterious I, I teaser of Cortez and him at the end. Between so Arcadia goes a lot slower than Stark. Time has little meaning. I was Not a lot slower, but yes. Well, he just said that well, he was trapped in a dream. Oh, okay, I missed time the part. So fast. this is an exception. Didn't seem so yeah. The time. It's kind of like I the hyperbolic it. time space chamber thing. Bro, you can't stay in there longer than a day. <laughs> Why? You'd be trapped there forever, training with Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Cortez said Wait, how long did fucking go, go on and start. shit stay in there then? Now, Only a day, because a day was that? a year. Yep. I'm not a shift, really? That's how they got better faster I'm and then sorry, became superhumans. Be better off yeah. asking Shit, can you just like go in for a day, come out, go back in? Already I don't know how it worked. I, I just remember he said he couldn't do it longer than a day. Help me. Muffin button. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially that. Fools wouldn't extend a hand to help a drowning man if it violated the principles of their bloody balance. But I can't think why Manny would tell you to visit me in order to shift home. It just doesn't make sense. Maybe he just misses you, bro. What's the hangout again? How did again? you end up here in Mercuria? <laughs> That's quite a story. I won't bore you with the details, but suffice it to say... Thank you. I was always somewhat of an adventurer. Oh, he's an adventurer. The promise of... Virgin territory, untouched oh, by he civilization, virgins. held great sway with me and my the untouched youth, civilization. as did the idea of a highly spiritual state of mind, the occult, magic, karma. Karma. He loves red. I was born in 1902 in right? Boston. Boston. By the time I was 17, I'd put that life behind me. I spent the next three years at sea, and then I wandered around Europe for a time. 
In the early 30s, the 1930s, of course, I found myself in India working as a journalist. That's where I met Manny, and that's where I first heard of Arcadia. I was amazed and quite skeptical at first, but the thought of a whole...